Well, today I'm going to be doing yet another, um, what is my hair doing right here? Um, Trader Joe's haul. And I know you guys are probably thinking, Vicky, you've done Trader Joe's haul before. Why are you doing this? I've been shopping at Trader Joe's for so long now that I actually have like specific favorites that I go and get every single time. So I kind of want to share those things with you guys and see if you guys have any suggestions and all that jazz. So let's just go ahead and get started because I have a lot of things to show you guys. And um, yeah, I'm out of breath because they had to pave our driveway. Well, they didn't pave it. They do this thing here. It's called seal coating. I guess it's to protect the ground from getting like messed up from like ice and stuff later on when it gets cold and all that crap. So nobody can park in their garages so I have to walk all the way down the block with my grocery bags which are super big and super full of stuff. Let's just go ahead and get into this because I have a lot to show you guys. So I did spend a little much but when you go to Trader Joe's that's what happens. And plus I don't live near Trader Joe's so every time I go I have to get a whole bunch of stuff. Stock up just in case. I got some bananas because who doesn't like bananas, right? Um, I always get orange juice because it's cheap. It's like $1.99. I don't know how much regular orange juice is like other places, but I got some more cookie butter. I got my hubs addicted to this, so now he loves it, and so I had to buy some more. Not blaming you, babe. I'm just saying. Because he's going to be like, don't blame me. Don't blame me. Okay, so you guys know it's like fall time, right? Just a heads up, I got a bunch of pumpkin stuff because, I mean, it's the fall and I know it may be stereotypical of me to eat a bunch of pumpkin stuff in the fall time, but why not? So I got these pumpkin rolls. They're like cinnamon rolls, but they're made with pumpkin and they have pumpkin spice icing to go with them. I decided to get those because I'm probably going to eat these for breakfast one day. I also got some biscuits because biscuits are our favorite. Sometimes my husband goes out of town and leaves me and abandons me and I be by myself. So I don't like to cook full meals with pots and pans and all that stuff for just me. I hate doing that. I feel like that's so stupid. Why would I do that when I can just get something that's already made? So I got this Cajun style blackened chicken alfredo. Sounds really good. I haven't tried it before, but I'm going to start buying more things like this instead of getting like frozen food because some of you guys noticed that my face was breaking out lately and it's because whenever my husband goes out of town, I don't really feed myself. <laughs> and if I do feed myself, it's really, really cheap stuff that I got from like the regular grocery store that has all this MSG and preservatives and all that stuff in it. Totally ruins my face and makes my hair really dry and itchy and it's just bad all together. It's just bad. So I decided to start buying these from Trader Joe's because these are most likely going to be, um, you know, wholesome gluten-free, geo-free, so. so I got that. I also got a salad with baby spinach, blue cheese, candied pecans, and cranberries. I love um, salads like that. I always hated Pellegrino because it just tastes like club soda. The sparkling water, sparkling water with um, fruit juices in it um, are really, really good. And Trader Joe's has a really good one. And theirs is 79 cents, so it's pretty good. Unfortunately, it's not very, like, you know, hydrating, so I do have to drink regular water, but these are good for when you eat dinner or something. All right, bag number two. My favorite, my all-time favorite Trader Joe's product ever in life, because I live off of these. These are the Trader Joe's Chunky Spicy Guacamole, and the only reason I like these better than any other guacamole that I've tried is because it's like the perfect amount of spice and flavor. Um, some guacamoles are very, very bland, but they have a little spice to them. I like these because these give me enough flavor and spice and the fact that they are vacuum packaged or whatever, so they last a long time as opposed to guacamole you make fresh. It only lasts for a couple days and then it gets brown and looks nasty. These, I love these because I can leave them in my refrigerator for about like, a month and if you don't open it it's good um, once you open them of course they start perishing but these are really good and I love to have these on Taco Tuesday and just any time of the day um, I like to snack on guacamole it I feel like it helps contribute to my protein because I don't really eat a lot you guys know that I'm not like a super heavy eater I'm a snacker though so when I do snack I like to get as much protein and um, fat that I can because I don't really have that much in my diet, hence why I'm 
so skinny. Um, I got some grapes, because grapes are the bomb, obviously. These sliced apples, a um, little sad they went up on the price. They're like $4 a bag now. But these are the best ones I've tried. I went to like regular stores like Jewel and Target. Their apples, their sliced apples suck. They taste like refrigerator, they're not good. It's just like, ew, what is this? But I love to eat sliced apples with peanut butter. That's another snack that I love because it also has like, you know, natural fat and protein in it um, that can help me to stay full throughout the day so I'm not like starving myself. So I got two bags because I eat a million of these. I always stock up on butter because, I mean, I use a lot of butter when I cook because I'm from the South. We like our stuff real buttery, so. Not that theirs is any better, it's just, I don't know, it's there, so I get it. I'm gonna try these chicken gyoza pot stickers. It's like, you know, like a midday meal, like lunchtime, I guess. Um, maybe some of these and like heat them up and like make some rice or something, I don't know. They're chicken and vegetable dumplings. And um, they seem like they'll be pretty easy to make, so. Like I wanna eat these as opposed to like eating pizza rolls or something, because pizza rolls are so good, but they're so terrible for you, so. I love these, me and my husband absolutely love these carrots. These are Parisian carrots, and they're like in little balls. Like they're little ball carrots, and they're so cute. I love to glaze these. I got some ice cream sandwiches, because I have cookie butter ice cream. Cookie butter ice cream is literally like heaven in a tub, like, it's so good. It's kind of overwhelming. You can't really eat a lot of it. So, got some regular uh, ice cream sandwiches because, I mean, who doesn't love these? Let me just throw some of this in the refrigerator because it's like taking up way too much space. Ready? Okay, so now, moving on. Um, these are little pizzas, little pepperoni pizzas. Um, and there's like four of them. I decided to get these. I usually get the deep dish pizza that they have. It's so good. But I would rather have little ones to eat like with other stuff. I feel like I need to start like making more like meal type situations instead of just eating one thing and getting full off of it. Cause I feel like so unfulfilled that way. I don't know why. But I'm gonna eat these little pizzas and probably like make like a side, like some green beans or something with it. Um, just so I have like a balanced meal or a salad. I'll probably eat my salad with this. Pizza is not good for me. I know that it breaks my face out. I know that it does. But, I mean, who doesn't love pizza though? Like, pizza's awesome! Um, I got these green beans. These are only like $1.99 a bag. These are French green beans. And I love these because they're super fine. They're not like really thick green beans. And they are really, really good. Um, all you do is boil them and then you can season them any way that you want. I actually, I made some the other day. My mom told me to, um, put fresh ginger on top and then sprinkle like some uh, salt and pepper and soy sauce. It's so good. It makes it taste like kind of like Asian inspired. Those go perfect with my favorite, you guys know, the orange chicken. I can't get enough of this. So those are like my favorite to eat together. I also like to eat broccoli with the orange chicken, but the green beans kind of add a little extra fanciness. I guess. <laughs> Hubby really loves these green beans, so that's why I get them. Um, and then these are roasted mashed sweet potatoes. I had their um, regular mashed potatoes and they're really good. They're really easy to make. Um, so I got the mashed sweet potatoes. I know how to make sweet potatoes from scratch, like mashed sweet potatoes. And I know how to make sweet potato casserole, sweet potato pie. I make the best sweet potato dishes ever. Um, so I know how to do this, but a lot of times I really don't feel like roasting some potatoes in the oven and then like peeling them and mashing them myself. That takes so much work. It takes like about an hour and a half of work that I don't have time for sometimes. But I know for like fall time I am going to be making a lot of sweet potato dishes, so I'm not really opposed to making my own sweet potato fresh. I just like to have stuff in the freezer just in case I get lazy because you know how I do Okay, last bag. I got some panini slims. I haven't had these in a really long time, but I miss them because I really like honey wheat bread. Honey wheat bread doesn't really go good with all types of sandwiches. Panini slims kind of allow me a little more variety. I make a really good panini that has like um, pesto and marinara sauce and spinach and um, what is it? 
turkey and provolone cheese, super, super good. Um, but I don't have any of those ingredients except for the marinara sauce and the bread. So I probably can't make that sandwich anytime soon. But whatever, besides the point. Jozo's. Their canned goods are not as unhealthy as the ones that you like would get from Chef Boyardee. Um, so that's why I get these. And I'm, these are really good. They're organic, so it kind of makes them a little bit better than Chef Boyardee. Not too much, but I mean, when you're starving and you don't know what else to make, these come in handy. Got my orange favorite clam freight flavored cranberries because I love these and they are really good in my oatmeal. Jars of these, I always buy two at a time. These are the pear halves in white grape juice. And I love to put this in oatmeal. I made some this morning, so good. That's my favorite topping in that and these are two, so love those. These are dark chocolate covered marshmallows. And if you guys know me, you know I love marshmallows, you know this. And unfortunately, marshmallows are super, 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 super sweet. They're nothing but fluffed up sugar. So I try to get dark chocolate stuff that is super sweet like that because it kind of counteracts some of the sweetness and makes me feel a little better about myself. So I get these um, for when Aunt Flo is visiting and you know, I need my chocolate fix. And I also love to take stuff like this to the movies because I mean, who wants to spend $8 on some movie candy? Like, not me. So I slide this in my purse and shh, don't tell nobody. I always get their old fashioned oats because I love their oatmeal. The bolognese ragu de carne sauce. I use this on like every pasta that I ever make and I love it. It's my favorite type of pasta sauce that they have. Their jasmine rice is my favorite. I just recently ran out of this, so I had to get some more. Lemon ginger echinacea juice. This is my lifesaver. This is my baby. We are best friends. I will love her forever. I drink this anytime that I feel sick, anytime that I'm nauseous. Um, don't ask me why I'm nauseous. I don't know and I'm not pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. It's just great. I love it. It's like ginger ale, kind of, sort of, not really. Gotta have that. That's my boo. I also got these cans of pineapple juice instead of getting the whole, the, the jar, I mean the carton. Usually, usually I'll get the carton of pineapple juice. I always like never drink all of it so that's why I got the cans instead. They have just a little four pack of cans and it's a lot cheaper than just getting the carton and wasting it. Um, and then, oh this is Dynamo. This is good if you haven't tried Dynamo. It's actually really good. Um, it's just a juice uh, blend. It has like calcium, vitamins A, C, D, and E, and eight B vitamins in it. So if you want to be healthy, this is pretty good stuff. Those are my juices. I should've got some apple juice, but I didn't. Um, I got these pumpkin, I already opened them because I ate some in the car. <laughs> um, I got two pumpkin items. I got pumpkin butter, which I'm excited to put on like waffles and pancakes and stuff. That's gonna be super bomb. You can use it for like pretty much anything. So I'm really excited to try, actually, you know what? I'm gonna try it right now. Mmm. Yep. Yep. So yeah, pumpkin butter. That's so good. I got these pumpkin cereal bars. It's called, this pumpkin walks into a bar. Um, their, their walks into a bar bars are really good. These are really good. They're like Nutri-Grain bars. Um, just filled with pumpkin filling. So, so yeah, I kind of went overboard on my pumpkin stuff, but you know what? You can judge me if you want, but pumpkin is amazing. And I got a box of Frosted Flakes. They're just Frosted Flakes. So that's all for my Trader Joe's haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you guys like learned some things. Probably not. So yeah, um, I actually have two Love of Food videos coming up, so I'm also going to be telling you guys about that stuff that I got. Um, the Love of Food snack boxes. Um, so yeah, I'm overdue on those, so I have to make two of them. And then I also have a current favorites video coming up. Be staying tuned for that as well. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching.